Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Jordan here, aka Brixie. Today we're going to be checking out the LEGO Creator Expert NASA Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, which is LEGO set 10266, 1087 pieces. On the front of the box you can see the set on the moon, you can see Earth in the background. On the top of the box we have our comprehensive part list, and on the side of the box we have a quote, which is, that's one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. On the back of the box you can see the set on its actual display stand, of course, which represents the moon and is built from Lego bricks. You can also see how it comes apart along with some more details in these smaller images here. I will say that this instruction manual is crazy. It's probably one of the most detailed instruction manuals. And what I mean by that is it has a lot of additional information in the first about 10 pages or so. And it's on the actual moon landing and you get a lot of original pictures, which is really neat. They put a lot of thought and a lot of research and R&D into this instruction manual. Just about NASA and the Apollo program, the Eagle has landed, the first footprint on the moon, the actual blueprints of the lander. You can also meet the designers and everything like that. Hey, look, it's an astronaut. That's pretty cool. And there's actually a sticker element on the set in which represents this as well, which is pretty cool. And all sorts of good stuff here in, of course, all the different languages. The parts of the set were divided into four bags or four larger steps. And here we're pretty part intensive, I'm not gonna lie. Four bags doesn't really seem like a whole lot of bags for a set that has over a thousand pieces to tell you the truth. So I don't really mind that. Let's start by taking a look at the two minifigures in which are included in this set and they are astronauts. And they represent Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin from the 1969 moon landing. And you can see they're positioned on the moon base plate there. And one just finished panting the US flag into the moon, which is pretty neat. Essentially, they're the exact same minifigure, but they are really, really, really neat looking minifigures. So they come in the spacesuit, and they have this backpack slash helmet piece here which has that classic gold element on it, which is nice. And that goes right onto the torso or over top of the head of the minifigure. And you can see there is some print elements on the torso. Uh, it says NASA. There's also a few other uh, gadgets or buttons on that spacesuit there. And there is some print piece on the back as well. Now these minifigures are virtually the exact same except for this gentleman here has brown eyebrows and this guy here has black eyebrows. So they're essentially the exact same. It's just they have a little bit different uh, face pieces. And yeah, that's the two minifigures that come with this set. And then of course they can interact with the base plate, which is pretty neat because you get the US flag, which will just plant right in there. And that's a sticker element, not a print element, unfortunately. There are lots of great sticker elements in this set. And there is some footprints right here. You can see some one by one studs that are exposed on the moon that represent footprints up to the flag. The lunar lander is actually not affixed to the moon base. So you can just pick it up with one hand. It's actually a pretty sturdy build. That surprised me how sturdy it was. And it sits on this base plate that you build here. Actually a really nice base plate. It reminds me of the architecture sets. Um, in which I don't collect, but I really do like the print pieces that they come with. And that's a print piece right here that says Apollo 11 Lunar Lander. And you can see that this does a really good job of representing the moon. There's like a big crater, a nice combination of studs and also tiles. And you'll see these four circular elements, one in each corner. And that's where your lunar lander will sit, I guess, on your moon base plate. It sits there freely. It's not... Uh, held in by any studs or anything, so just be a little bit careful. You can pick it up uh, with by just holding the base plate if you wanted. However, if you're moving this set, I'd probably recommend moving each piece individually. Just <laughs> better safe than sorry. You can see that it's sort of a blocky build, but obviously that's what the lunar lander actually looked like. Actually very interesting how you built this. It comes together in eight different panels that go around so essentially you build your base and then you build your top and the top affixes to the base. Eight different panels that are mostly covered by those gold elements there and some are actually covered by 
sticker elements that can join and blend together nicely with those gold elements. You can see some of them right here. What's interesting about these stickers is the whole sheet was that metallic-like finish. They actually have a quite a reflection. You'll be able to probably see the camera in there once it focuses. Uh, you can see how they're just a reflective surface and that one there has the US flag on it. And they blend together nicely with those other gold elements that are found within the set. Also, in behind the US flag there, you got United States printed onto the, actually not printed, a sticker element that goes onto one of the panels there. So there are two panels that will open up. This one here has a camera inside. And then just on the other side of it there, this one will also open up, I believe. That's the one, yeah, that one there. And it has some sort of contraption or device in there. I'm not sure what that is. It's just like a little storage compartment for that sticker element. So those are the two compartments that open up on the base of it. These legs do just clip right into the uh, eight-sided base. Essentially, all the legs are the same except for this one here, which has that uh, sticker element that I was referring to when we were flipping through the first part of the instruction manuals there. And then it has the ladder. When the astronauts would come out of here and then go down the ladder, and the astronauts actually do fit within the top portion of this build. This does remove quite easily. I think I can do it with one hand. Yep, just like that there. It's held together by uh, two clip-in pieces, and they just go onto these modified one by two plates just in the interior. Inside the interior, you can see the red and white canisters that represent different fuel canisters that this craft would use to land on the moon and stabilize itself. So I will take this apart and I'll show you some of the interior details in just one moment and we'll also stick our astronauts inside there. But having a look at it, it is sort of a bulky build that represents the lunar lander. You can see these here, they're like siren pieces that would be used in city where this would be used to like crank up, I don't know, looks like maybe crank up an anchor in a, in a sailboat or a, or a pirate ship or something like that. But they use these uh, to represent the stabilizers here that would uh, provide some thrust to stabilize the uh, lunar lander as it comes down or lands onto the moon. Also have a few uh, chrome dishes on the top there as well. Let's uh, bust it open, put our minifigures in and have a look at some of the interior details on the top portion of the craft. So like I was saying, the top portion of the uh, craft will just come right off the base. And this will actually split into three different sections. And this is where you can put your astronauts within. That section will just open up just like that. That's our doors leading outside onto the moon. You can see a sticker piece there just above the two doors and a couple switches on either side. And that just clips into those two yellow clips right there. You also see some more sticker elements in the inside there. All sorts of different sticker elements representing different control panels found within the lunar lander. And this side will also come off as well. And just in this little door hole here that's not very wide, what is that, six studs by six studs, something like that. Uh, not very spacious in there, but that's where you're able to stick your astronauts. Now we've got them both in there. Facing this way, which I believe is the side that is facing the door. So when we put this piece back on, like this here, and you can open the door like that, I guess this spacecraft or uh, lunar lander would be pretty tight and maybe that's how it would actually be. Uh, I wouldn't think that they're gonna make it very luxurious in there, especially in the, uh, the early 60s. But there you go, you got both of our, uh, our astronauts locked inside their, their cabin there and they're ready to approach the landing to the moon. And then this of course will clip right on there. You can see there's a thruster on the bottom there and this will clip right back on there. And now both of our astronauts are locked or are within the lunar lander. So it actually works pretty good. I really like this set. I think it's definitely worth it. I think it's an iconic set for the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 lunar lander, which is an iconic time of, in history in, in the entire world. Lots of great sticker elements, lots of great gold elements, some magnificent detail that really represents the lunar lander. It, it looks great. It's an awesome display piece, especially if you have the Saturn V and also the International Space Station. Those sets, or these sets, just pair up so well with that. So yeah, that's really about it for today. Just wanted to show you guys the Apollo 11 Lunar Lander and give you an in-depth review on the actual set. I quite like it. Remember to like, subscribe, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. I wanted to give a special shout out to all the people who supported me using Super Chat and Super Stickers during my live streams. 
Thank you so much, it's highly appreciated, and make sure you stay tuned for more live streams as I'll be building all of my LEGO sets using the live stream function here on YouTube. Thanks a lot, stay tuned, and we'll see you again. Bye for now.